Michigan Republicans. How many are excited to hear from the President of the United States of America? I'm going to tell you this. Joe Biden was in Michigan yesterday with about 50 people at his rally. You see the excitement around here. You feel the energy around here. You can feel the enthusiasm around here. It's this that's going to send President Trump back to the White House for four more years. Right here. Now, I have a couple of thank yous because we have an incredible group of Republicans with us here today from the House and the Senate. First, I want to say thank you to Chairwoman Cox, who's standing behind me, who's going to be speaking after me. She's helped build the best grassroots effort, the best grassroots team in the entire country. And that grassroots team, as you're looking around here today, is going to be what delivers Trump and pits him back in the White House. So thank you, Chairwoman Cox. I also want to thank Senator Bumstead for allowing us to be in your district today. Representative Greg Van Workum for allowing us to be in your district today. Thank you. And Speaker Pro Tem Wentworth, who's going to be the next Speaker of the House in the Michigan House of Representatives. These guys here, they are the team that is leading our effort to do three main things here in the state of Michigan. But we can't do it without your help. We have three main goals. Number one. House Republicans right now hold the gavel in Lansing. And Governor Whitmer wants there to be a Democrat Speaker of the House. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the legislature just won a pretty big case at the Michigan Supreme Court. The Supreme Court sided with us and said, even in a pandemic, the Constitution is still the Constitution, and no amount of partisan politics can change that. The Supreme Court told the governor that you need to work with the legislature. So guess what? Governor Whitmer wants a Democrat speaker that will help her raise your gas tax 45 cents. Governor Whitmer wants a Democrat speaker who will help her take away your Second Amendment rights. And Governor Whitmer wants a Democrat speaker that will help her defund the police. And we can't let that happen. We won't let that happen. But we need your help. Number two, how many of you are excited to call John James your U.S. Senator? Well, that race is decided in 17 days. And the Democrats know they are in trouble. Gary Peters hasn't done anything for the state of Michigan in his first term, and it's time we send someone like John James, who's not only served us in the battlefield, but will now serve us in Washington, and we need to get him over the line. And last, obviously we are here because of President Trump. And let me tell you this, the differences between the political parties have never been so clear, and the stakes have never been so high as they are right now. But I'm proud to stand with President Trump and all of you and be a part of the party that believes in the sanctity of human life. I'm proud to stand with President Trump and all of you to be a part of the party that believes in supporting our law enforcement and giving them the funds they need in order to enforce the law and keep us safe. I'm proud to stand with President Trump and be a part of the party that believes it's okay to say we're going to put America first, we're going to support our troops, and we're going to do everything we can to build our military. And I am proud to stand with President Trump and be a part of the party. When the, when the red, white, and blue is raised, we put our hand over our heart and thank Almighty God for the blessings and freedoms He has given us. That's our party, and that's what we're fighting for right now. The fact is this, the Democrats know it. President Trump has done more for our country in four years than Joe Biden has done in his entire career. And when the Democrats say they want to fundamentally transform the United States of America, they mean it. But make no mistake, if they implement their radical progressive policies, they will fundamentally destroy the United States of America as we know it today. And we cannot let that happen. And it was Ronald Reagan who warned us and said that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in our bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. 
And I'll tell you this, that is what's at stake in this election. America has always been a shining city on a hill. America always will be a shining city on a hill. We will not back down from our values. We will not back down from our way of life. We will not back down from the flag. And we need a president who believes that. And that's why we're going to send President Trump back to the White House. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I need your help. I need your help to send a message. Because right now in America, all eyes are on the state of Michigan. And this message needs to be sent to Washington and Speaker Pelosi. This message, this message needs to be sent to the media. And this message needs to be sent to the Democratic Party across the entire country. And it's this, the Michigan people had Donald Trump's back in 2016 and the Michigan people are sending him back to the White House for four more years. Thank you, God bless America.